Anyway, we're back to Phantom Bliss. I do want to do Red Temple runs, but first of all, I want to try and unlock the... Get rid of the double damage on this. And I don't think it's going to go well because we take double damage, but... Give it a go, and then we'll just go for a red win again. I don't know if this game has been patched since we last played. It's been a... Four days, has it? Oh, wait, no, there was that one stream where Valinar wanted me to do more of this, right? Angie protects this temple. Speaking of which, we have an Angie emote in Discord now. The one that Paris drew. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, how do you play this game again? Okay, I've got it. There's one button? Oh yeah, that's right. So we do take double damage, which means two hits will kill us. And getting some more ablative health would be a good idea. Whoever that other ghost was, he's just off. Hello, Perth, we were just talking about you. this room. That's why. You've been loving this on YouTube? I'm glad you're watching them. The VODs for it are often long because I keep on forgetting to do breaks in them. But um, YouTube is basically just Isaac 90% of the time now. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing because people are actually watching the VODs outside of the few that would normally watch anything. Why are you resisting the urge to buy it yourself? It's like 20% off, isn't it? I'll buy it at a high price. Every time I try and do the vendor from Resident Evil 4, it's always a pirate instead. Every single time. I don't even like pirates. In the Great Pirates vs Ninja War, I'm definitely in Team Ninja. Pirates are weird. But if I point out all the stuff real pirates did that are awful, people will point out all the weird, weird stuff that real ninjas did as well. And then we'll all be unhappy. What happened to the other ghosts? And by other ghosts I mean ghosts, because I am not a ghost. Please don't tell Bruce Willis and... Haley Joel Osmond. There we go. If I remembered the name. If the Ghostbusters drop by, you tell them to go away. This isn't for them. Oh wait, you mean that's what happened. They got got. No, he got away. Which one? Oopsie Doopsie survived. Which is just a fantastic name. I'm not familiar with this room either. Wow, we got 600 coins. Ugh. Bad choices though. Hangy! I like how other people get stressed watching me play this, like kind of like ducking out of the way and stuff. And I was feeling anxious before and because of the focus this requires I forget. So it isn't as bad. So, oh yeah, Angie's there. I'm just wave and say hello. Eh, oh, we're getting very bad choices here. Wait. Oh, the other guy died in the first area. Oopsie doopsie, you better not be trying to slow this down. This is the double damage, double money whip, yeah. What the? I hear you opening the chest. Where are you? Oh. That's unfortunate timing. It's 
It's fine, the anger takes a little while to warm up. Oh, oopsie doopsie, took damage. Didn't die though. Because I would have passed the corpse. Unless Angie got him. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that can happen real quick. It's, it's very annoying. Although that is my favourite whip and now I got the negative off of it as well. If you cancel out of a run, it counts as a death, right? So you can't... I see you trying to whip these to stop. Don't you do that, oopsie doopsie. I saw a Devolver like, retweet an article about this game where... I think it was an IGN article or something saying... Oh, I know there's stuff up there, but Anki's coming. Oh, Phantom Abyss isn't competitive, it's cooperative. Clearly, they haven't met phantoms that hit traps. That is it's so hard to predict and very annoying. As are these choices of. Ugh. It's okay, we just need to get a blue win, but these are all terrible upgrades. Is it so much to ask for for like one extra health and like double jump or wings? I don't even want both, just one or the other. Excuse me, you can buy multiple blessings from one shrine. I didn't know that. What we really need is a way to say, no thank you, I don't want your crappy upgrades. Since you can only have a finite number. Doopsie goes. I mean, it, it's fairly rare for me to even have enough to buy multiple upgrades. This is the exception because of the whip. I don't really stop and get every single treasure chest. I kind of like just having forward momentum. Oopsie doopsie lived and is going to blue. No, not when it's Aengie. This would have been an easy unlock had it given me even a half good upgrade choices. One for each boot. What do you mean, wow? She didn't turn around, so I couldn't do the bot. The devouring rage. What do you mean, wow, but with little capital letters? Oh! Oopsie doopsie is on one health. Which means we'll find other corpse in this area. For those hidden chests, but I don't think it spawns in this iteration. It has to have the the pit. What's that noise? Oh, that's what that noise is. It's the lag room. I really wish they would fix this as well. Oh, we got health.
I mean, I have four upgrades, so I don't think there's any point in me collecting chests now, because I can't get any more, can I? And they won't even offer health. Oh. 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 Safe. Are they using the war heal whip? Oh yeah, Angie cuts corners by going through them. No. No, no, oopsie doopsie. It says a hell room, so I don't blame them for dying in it. Oh no, I had one more. Okay, that's that actually doesn't change a damn thing, does it? Because I'm still two hits from death. Well, at least it's nice and gold. The other ghost made it. Don't you dare whip this. <laughs> Angie's back and now he's pissed. Oh, it's the worst possible room to have Angie chasing you in, too. It's the L-shaped room. Well, the one where you go forwards and backwards. Whoop! I was just going to say that music's uncomfortably loud. I thought I was ahead of him. Yes, he wants a hug and has no arms. No! I was looking at chat. <laughs> no, that was close. Guardian angered. I almost have a temple though. And he is alive. No need to rush at this point because Angie's not here yet. Hmm, absolutely not. I thought you could walk over there. There's a chest down there. Oh. It's a dead end. Silence, Windows. I know where you live. In my PC.
Ferengi approaches. Right, we're just going for a blue win. Guardian angered, of course. And he went on to, I don't know, let's say win in the red area. Let's say more. Never seen that iteration of this room either. If they're adding new iterations to rooms, that's great. I don't know if they have. That could just be like low appearance rate or something. corner right through the wall. No! Safe. Safe. Oof, that was lucky. Alright, wait a second. Let Angie get a little closer. Inception noise. I just realised the design of this whip reminds me of that old Pokemon, Rowlet. But like the evolved form where he gets like a cloak made of leaves. Whatever that was called. What the hell? Oh. Could have just jumped. Decadai? Is that how you pronounce that? De Decidai? They should just call it Furry Peaks, that's what it is. Oh. I jumped a second too early, that's not good. They weren't quite descending yet. Well, in that case I'm going to do a slightly risky play. I don't think that gave me enough, even with times two. My plan was to turn around, get the, the shrine at the start, and maybe get healed. Nah, no chance. What the? Oh, there is traps in here. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, hang on a second, there's not usually no traps here. I don't think is. I mean, this is going to be famous last words, but I don't think Angie is going to be the end of this run. I think I'm just going to accidentally get caught by a spike when I'm trying to rush, which I guess you could technically argue is because of Angie. Like this room is hell with him because I can't ascend it quickly. So maybe I did speak too soon. What the? Well. Thankfully that didn't do full damage, but I don't know why the jump didn't count. I spoke too soon. I didn't speak too soon. I may still not yet die to Angie. Because I don't think I ever have. I've, the only guardian I've been hit by is the death beam one and walking into the poison one. 
I, oh, you know why that didn't do double damage? Because Lucky kicked in. It did one heart instead of two. Or half a heart instead of... Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know why that didn't do full damage. Or double damage, I should say. Maybe I saved the easiest one for last? Nope. Well, maybe. This isn't so bad. Never mind. I thought both sides were lined up, they were not. Well, I'll post that code in chat. Uh, share. If anyone wants to try and free it, there is the gigantic code for it. Now I'll just pick a random whip and we'll do a, a try and get a red win. I should have remembered that those were offset. I thought they were shooting at each other, but they're offset, so you specifically can't do what I was trying to do. Um. see here. Well, if I'm going for a red one, I guess I could take the ice whip and just give it an honest try. Slide much faster, two heart containers, but it's very, very hard to, like, stop on the spot, like this. But if I'm going for a red one, I might as well try. And good luck. If you, do, if you just use, like, a tanky whip, you do it easily. That wasn't a particularly hard temple. Oof. Okay, Captain Crunchy is using the whip for you start with one health. I don't want to take the chance of any of them doing this. There, when I die I've now ruined someone's day. Don't ask me any questions about what just happened. What does vote question mark mean? Oh, vote on like whether or not I win? Well, given that I've already taken damage, I think it may be slightly weighted. But if Eleanor or Crispy want to do exactly that, feel free. Oh no. You know what? Don't vote. Don't vote at all. I want to do over. No wonder this person died. Captain Crunchy, no! You might want to wait for the next one. I, I hate this room. Thirty seconds to vote. If I die, it's null and void. But that just means if I do go on to win, it'll be all the sweeter. absolutely won, but it would be sweet if I did. Nope, he died right there, huh? Actually, no, he didn't. Someone else did, though. Someone opened that chest. No one voted to win. You know, that just makes me want to do it more. To make you all lose your savings. The ratio was 1 in 774? I'm shocked. I'm not that shocked. I'm on two health on the first area. Using a whip that makes it hard to do intricate movements. 
And I've already eroded one of the benefits it gives by losing two health. The voting doesn't appear if you're on... Um... Actually, didn't they change that so it does? I thought you could see votes on mobile now. Two is Kodos. Kodos is one of the aliens from The Simpsons. I could do green and start over, but that's that's wimping out. Oh wait, something related to our Isaac run earlier followed me. I have an account called Farty McFart. Or it's my alt account when my IBS is blowing up. We do get the zoomies when we're skidding, though. One person voted 10 on a win. So the one person that voted for me to win didn't have any faith and only put 10 on it. I'm shocked. No, not that shocked. See, look, I'm, I'm tryharding. I'm going for all the chests to hopefully get a heal. Just skidding over all the jumps instead of actually jumping on them. We're not being chased. This is worth it. I also forgot I had wings. Again. You typically vote for the less popular option in hopes of a big payout. Wait, is this Angie again? Which got Oh, it is. Good. I want an Angie themed evening. And then after the stream, I'll go to Discord and I'll see one big Angie with lots of little Angies in the replies. No! Damn it. I skidded. I knew it was there and I tried to stop and I couldn't. I skidded. Please give me a big heal. Don't make me pay out to the disbelievers. That's a star. I just negated that bad damage. Now, do I think we're going to get a red win at the moment? Um, all signs point to maybe. Jesus, after all those ghosts, there's only two here? And one of them can't spell Jill? Oh my god, that was terrible. They were all completely out of sync. Well, pay out the disbelievers. I'll share that one as well. That one sucks though. Alright, normal whip, red win. One to one, you get nothing. Good day, sir. I don't like the starting chamber. There's a lot of chests, but it's tedious to get through without any additional movement. Oh, these 
course, try hard and hitting the pots as well. I think the other prediction has to pay out in full first. The run will still be going on, don't worry. behind here, Red Griffin. There is. You're going all in? Oh dear. I've only had two red wins. For three now? No, two. Oh no. no. Of course. I'm not falling for that again. If you fall down there, it's a death trap. It's a run ender. A red one, yeah. be doing last bet plus 10. Oh no, have you heard of that like that gambling strategy of always going 10 plus so eventually you get a win on yourself or something? I've forgotten the intricacies of it. Um, yeah, just chance to avoid damage would be nice. You believe I can do the thing, but how much did you go in with on that belief? Words are hollow, channel points are, well, kind of fictional, but whatever. I'm giving them a head start. I don't know why one of them seems to have a like health bar that's three times longer than everyone else's. He didn't put all his channel points in. He's waiting for me to add some like truly wonderful redemption thing. Like that allow one exact back seating. That I still haven't added, I'm still considering it. You hate your channel points? Why? Is it because you're a droid and you haven't fully comprehended which emotion is good and which one is bad. Because Valinor has that problem all the time. He would use that particular option on one thing. Is it Tom Hardy related in some fashion? What the... no. Oh. What a weird way to enter this room. Points took your lunch money? Wow! No, it wouldn't be as high as 1 million, but I am thinking like 50k, maybe. Maybe 40k just to be like a meme number for Warhammer. And maybe I should make it how many subscribers I have. No, that's too high. If I did 130,000. Or what about if I made it how many people on the 130,000 actually watch my videos, which would be like less than a thousand. But that would be too easy to <laughs> spam. It's 
Skim what the that shouldn't have worked. Skim is saving all those channel points for my eventual Skyrim playthrough where you will backseat to tell me where to buy the best skimmer. You again, huh? Why aren't there streamers that have like ridiculously high payouts? They're like, I'll just shut off the stream. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bonch, or whatever that said. I know Dodger, like, to guide a raid is like 50k or something, because that's what Scrum Dunger had to spend twice to get her to raid me. For 50k, go to sleep. A lot of streamers would need reminded of like trying to keep proper hours to rest, I would say. I am not one of them. I am an old man. I know when I need to sleep. What I don't know how to do is have a successful like content creator career, for sure. Kind of balls that one up pretty badly. You've seen some say drink water. Good idea. Everyone drink some water. I have water. You hear that? That's a cup. Mm. Very important to stay hydrated, especially if you're in hot weather and are not accustomed to it. I don't know, well, I don't know what age you are, Meta, but I used to have terrible times getting to sleep all through my youth. And then just when you get to a certain age, just something changes. And your old person genes start kicking in as I know you must go to sleep. It used to take me hours to get to sleep. I'd have, I thought that said Peku. I used to have to, like, I. I had, well, this is why I have so many, like, Simpsons lines embedded in my brain. I'd have VHS cassettes of however long they lasted. Three hours, was it? Of just recorded Simpsons episodes off the telly, and I'd just have one of them on, trying to sleep. That was close. So I'd fall asleep to the Simpsons. And when I was younger, I used to listen to cassettes of like nursery rhymes. Like really young, I mean. What do you do with my VODs? I usually go to bed with a video from YouTube playing on my phone, but I shut it off before I go to sleep. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for the next cycle, that sucks. Nah, I'm still gonna have to wait. They are going really fast. You suck, you suck, you suck. Okay, I may not have been looking. I made a mistake. I was looking at you. Just walked off the damn edge. To be fair, usually when I get this room, I have double jumper or wings. Not this time, though. I don't think it counted me opening that chest, it didn't.
Sometimes you have the auto play on in my videos and you just wake up to it playing. Hell yeah, ad revenue. Two pence. Hmm. Yeah, sure. That's a very common thing, Lan, as well, yeah. But like I say, once you hit a certain age, you'll hopefully find it passes if it hasn't by then. You might want to try, like, listening to old nursery rhymes. Will it be soon? Actually, yes. I know this to change when I hit 30. Went from super struggling to like just zonked out. Now, if I go to bed feeling anxious, then it takes a while, but that's different. Actually, getting to sleep is much easier. Oh no, it's this room. Yeah, it, it, right now it's a bit harder to sleep. Especially if you have a dog that waits until you fall asleep to lie against you. So I, I wake up just dehydrated because Sora's been leaning against my back all night. Once you get a child, you'll learn to fall asleep as soon as the opportunity arises. And it's the world my sister is going to have to deal with. My sister had to, like, fall asleep at the drop of a hat superpower when we were kids. Which way, it was very envious of, obviously. Yes, yeah, these attend to can confirm. Yeah, okay, it kicks in. That's something to look forward to, which is rare right now. Now, if there was only a way to get a lot more people to watch my content in the it's okay to listen to, to fall asleep to, or relax, or work, or whatever else, because I don't scream. Then we could monetize this whole thing and I'd be sitting pretty. Thank you to Pooley for 59 months with your one sub. That's my superpower only gets stronger as I age. I don't understand ASMR. I tried watching some of it. I, d I was going to say we've talked about it on stream before, but then I remembered it was on a Saturday, so barely anyone heard it. I don't understand ASMR. Like, I understand the satisfaction of popping bubble wrap. I don't understand the satisfaction of watching someone else do it. Or listening to someone else do it. Oh, you're going to see a lot more VTubers soon, instantly. I got an, uh, a press release from the folk who do face rig. You know, the one that makes you look like an animal and whatnot. They're like moving into 3D and anime and, and stuff like this. I didn't fully read it because it wasn't relevant to me, but they've got some new thing coming out. Bloop. Son of a bitch, nine short. How do you know ASMR gaming isn't a thing? Like, maybe it's someone who doesn't talk during their videos, they have a 
What do you call it? The, the lav mic, the one you put on your, your shirt? They have one of them right at their mechanical keyboards and they're playing like a first person shooter. And the only thing you're hearing from their mic, maybe the game sound is there but super low, is just the clickety clack of a mechanical keyboard. That probably exists. There's definitely still people who just do like playthroughs with no commentary and whatnot. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was sound. You like the talking? More than a mechanical keyboard? Because a mechanical keyboard when someone's typing is pretty satisfying. Well, I'm probably gonna not do this, so let's just teabag real quick. Ah, they're staggered. Run. Nearly. Has to be the clunky keyboards? That's mechanical ones. I have one, I actually used it on stream for a little while, but it was so loud that people were put off, so... I mean, I still have it, but I don't use it. I have it on my emergency backup PC. Uh, I, I need this for an upgrade. Ah! What? What hit me? Was Oh, I stood in the lava too long, didn't I? Turns out lava indeed hot. This sucks. I'm not sure what I could have done to avoid that. Because I didn't have enough height for its trigger. I should have I, I almost skipped that chamber and I should have. But I wanted an upgrade. Don't do that. Oh no, this isn't the exit. Son of a bitch. It's usually the left way. I've never seen it not be the left way. Oh, I used to use a typewriter all the time when I was a kid as well, and then moved up to an electrical one and didn't find it nearly as satisfying. I like the clickety-clack of a, a typewriter. That's why I find the save game noise in Resident Evil games so satisfying. I still wouldn't listen to someone doing it, though. Hmm. Like, just because. Uh do this. Let's just have a look at this direction. This direction is also suck. Can I like trigger that from here? Nope. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Do it like this? Yeah. Kill please. Well, no, I want wings. And there's no red bow in sight, so this will have to do. It's not the same when someone else does it. Mm, well, okay. Do you mean like you preferred when you heard him do it? Or you used that particular one? Because it might be more connected to a different memory rather than the sound, if that's the case. No, I did not manage the double damage for
It's the only way I know how to do that room. Why didn't my wings work? Oh, we're gonna die in here. Despise the poison guy. It's got no chill. A better form of white noise. And when you used to play with it, have you tried finding an old typewriter and using it? I know how this is going. Didn't expect that to fall as quickly as it did. Uh oh. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no, we're not! Barely. I might be able to get enough to heal. There's a lot of cash on the left. But he's gonna make it too annoying and too risky. Don't like the look of this. Yeah. Look how fast he's moving. The wings don't work if you jump on those things. The wings didn't work. Uh, that's annoying. I mean, I still was going to lose, but I hate losing to something that doesn't work as intended. Well, maybe it is working as intended, but it's not working as I remember it. If you try and use wings off of one of those bounces, it doesn't work. Well, one more try. It wasn't going to be a win anyway, it just it sucks to have it happen like that. I should have known from earlier in the run, but I thought I'd just mispressed the button. But I did not. I only got to the blue area. I was going for a blue win to unlock the, the curse. I think Rogue Health was trying to unlock that one. I posted in two codes. I lost the ace one as well. I thought that didn't count as me opening that one. Oh, it was free? Do you think the date in this guy's name is the year he was born? It's gotta be, right? Oh, did everybody see the video I linked in Discord this morning that Ryan Reynolds made? Him and Korg from 
Thor Ragnarok doing a reaction video on the trailer for his next movie. It should have came out pre-pandemic, but it got delayed. Taita Waititi plays the villain in it, so that's how they were able to get, or he was able to get him to voice Korg for the video. It's funny. I would love a sound clip of the uncensored version of Deadpool saying to Korg, you're on Disney Plus, aren't you, fuckface? <laughs> oh, goblin waifu, no! Oh, how much faster than I am? Okay, it's fine. The movie doesn't look that bad. It's called Free Guy and he's like a, a normal random NPC in like a GTA game that gets told he's an NPC or something. And he's just playing himself again as per usual, but the setting seems like it might be quite fun. poison prick all the way down from this point on. That's where the night descends into like madness and annoyance. Having to get this prick every single time and not the good gods. GTA MMO, yeah. He's random and creates instant lose scenarios in certain room layouts. Especially in the third area. Also, he shows up too bloody much. I haven't seen the Death Beam guy for ages now, although I'd prefer Angi, but still. Yeah, I hope they do a lot of work on him. The other two are fine. Except with the rarity they appear. Hello again, Pot Liammy. Wait, but didn't you say you were going to work? That was a quick shift. I haven't been streaming that long. I've had the poison one spawn in doorways more so than the death beam one. Like the only one I've taken po uh, contact damage from is the poison one I think. Oh, no specifics because of like spoilers and whatnot, but I did share some thoughts on the final episode of Loki. I didn't particularly care for it. And also they left in a mistake which was very obvious. That they just didn't notice when they were filming it. There is a boom mic visible for a few seconds. And when I first, like I spotted it instantly but I thought I imagined it and there was just maybe like a low hanging light so I rewound it twice to make sure but it's, a, it's the top of a boom mic. For sure. Which is just sloppy, honestly. Ah, you're teaching a creative writing summer camp. 
You know every time I had to do a creative writing exam for English, which we did have to do a few times, my friends and I always just ripped off the Resident Evil game plots, like literally every single time. And I still remember, I've told this story during Isaac at least once, like years ago. But she took umbrage with me describing a character opening two huge double doors, basically doing the Dark Souls animation as being not possible. And I disagree with that woman to, to this day. She did a little note next to pointing at it like, Is this likely? Question mark in red pen. Fuck you, old lady. She called that into question and not the zombies. I think that was during the story where I ripped off Resident Evil 1. I definitely also ripped off the intro to Resident Evil 2 at least once. Like the whole cafe zombie thing. Or whatever it is that clears in. I've forgotten now. I don't know if they still do creative writing. I hope they do. Oh, everybody's favorite chamber. I swear when I first started playing this, the poison he spat out was even more random, so it barely ever went to you. I think they changed that and it, the changes made it worse. You're teaching creative writing overseas? Nice! No, creative writing stories all these days will be like people recreating fights they've had in Fortnite and stuff, I'm sure. I mean, creative writing didn't make... Well, actually, it did kind of make me want to be a writer, but then I went into more, like, non-fiction for a while. I was a free ran freelance writer for a couple of years. Hello. Oh, you lived! The man who is presumably 23 years old. Met Damon Aging gif. I did not write Dark Side Detect. So sick. Dark Side Detective. But I would totally write jokes for a guest chapter and I would do it for free. As long as I get credit, I would do it for free. Just give me the locations and I'll make up the silly stuff that gets said when you click on the things. I know their PR guy still comes and watches the stream as every so often. I'll do it. I'm not joking. I'll do it for free. Ah, thank you. Wait. Mm, okay, that should be fine. I don't think I ever search up here. I was looking for chests just to get a little bit more. Ideally a little bit more than that as well. Come back, 1998. I don't remember your name, so that's your name now.
That was the one with the Dooley, f- right? Dooley, Dooley and uh, Detective McQueen, yes. I played the second one on stream recently. First one came out a couple of years ago. And despite it having my precise sense of humour, I did not write them. Although it is scary that there's someone out there with the same sense of humour. Especially if they're not British, because part of my most of my sense of humour is like born from British sitcoms. So if they're not British, I'd be very curious how they managed to end up with the same weird sense of humour. I mean, he did, but he recovered. Ooh. He's too busy watching for where the poison guy is, but he's lodged halfway in a wall. Not anymore. Wait, did I get wings? No, I, don't. I do have wings, right? Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I know I'm changing topic, but I forgot to check. Was there any other Batman reveals today? Ah, the lag room. Darkseid Detective was one of mine as well. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know that. I, I, I was when I made the tweet. I was like, oh, roughly at nine minutes fifteen. There's a boom mic visible in the Loki finale, and then I'm, I went back to check after making the tweet, and I was like, oh, I actually got the exact time. And that was from memory. I wonder if they noticed and obviously couldn't do anything about it because they couldn't reshoot the scene. Yeah, Night Models are doing something on Kickstarter that involves a DC license, but I'm not interested in that. Well, it might be once they show what it is, I suppose. Why didn't they CG it out? Good question. I guess they thought it wouldn't matter, or maybe they didn't notice. Well, the thing is, I watched The Mandalorian, though, and I never spotted that, and I'm usually really good at spotting that kind of crap because that's the way my dumb brain works. Because I don't want to notice things like that. I don't want to be taken out of the world, but... I don't remember spotting any specifically in The Mandalorian. I'm just debating if it's worth it. That's a nice little cheat to get through that room, though. I'm not going to bother. There was a helicopter in one episode? You've heard rumours on Three Jokers. Can you be more specific? I really like the three Joker story, so um, do you mean like models from it? Damn it. I have to do it way. I.e. the hard way. Shouldn't be there. <laughs> the hell is that noise? Models? There's already. Well, I guess it would be an excuse to do like the very specific jokers that are represented. It's a very good standalone non-canon story for anyone who hasn't read it. You actually hear me mention it in a video going live next week. Because it just happened to come up because of the miniature I was showing off. I 
remembered at the last second how to get through that. No, we found his body. I think I can see what happened to him. This isn't fair. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. He died in the exact same way I did. For sure. Well, sorry, I took a fair damage, but no, no, you, you can just die like that as well. It's perfectly fair, I suppose. I think I might just like re-roll until we don't get that shitty guardian, so I can actually play the game. I'll just use normal whips and just exit out, because I've been using the normal whip anyway. So he's called Defiler, right? Okay, we got Angie. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna re-roll out of the filers until they fix them because it's not playable. You literally, there's too many rooms in the third area you literally can't do because he fires too fast right in your face. I don't think we had going for that run with wings anyway. Hello, I'm up here now. I can tell I'm tilted though because I'm just kind of rushing, but I don't want to ruin an Angie temple. Five coins, that's it. Okay, at least we'll get to see him. here either. What do you want to see in the stream tomorrow chat because I've got no idea what to play at the minute. Either from a viewer satisfaction point of view or entice new people in point of view. Like more Isaac? second chest up here. I don't think there is. Sometimes there is. Not today. You don't understand Isaac? Uh, a naked baby shoots enemies and gets items. All of Cthulhu for the Switch. <clears throat> the only thing I'm playing on my Switch at the minute is Breath of the Wild. Well, I didn't play it today because I was recording. I recorded Crisis Protocol. These rocks should not be here. I've 
appetite. I'm just savoring the moment, Angie. Jump. First time we've seen double jump all night. <clears throat> so we got an Isaac confirmation and we got Call of Cthulhu on the Switch, which I've never even heard of. Anything else? Will I take a tic tac? No, not playing Deadly Premonition 2 again. It's a one-off experience, as is the first one. Worth it, but still a one-off... Still a one-off experience. That was just me losing focus there. I don't like when we play with tabletop simulator stuff. There's that tilt I was mentioning. I've not played Pillars of Eternity, no. I'm not looking for new suggestions, really. I'm just like, of the stuff I've been playing in the minute or semi recently, what would you like me to do more of? Also, all these are terrible suggestions to draw in new people, for the record. More Euro Truck? That I can do! Oh yeah, we do have Wilder Myth. Although Valner's been playing too much of that by himself. I don't even remember if I own American Truck Simulator, but why would we want to do that when we can look around nice places in Europe? I drove through Norway off camera the other day. Beautiful. I know you like the table. Like there are people who do either just put up with it or enjoy it, but sadly it's not enough people. And normally I'd stick with my I'll just do what I want regardless. But Still got to make ends meet, basically. Uh, I think it's just Euro and American. Oh, if, it, if you want to go have a quick laugh, look at the VOD for not yesterday's stream the day before when we did Truck Simulator. The auto-generated thumbnail by Twitch is me just driving in the middle of the road. I just thought it was quite funny. Okay, I don't even like the apparently good Zelda games, let alone the one that everybody more or less agrees is terrible. Hello, Icky. Oh, you didn't go for the second chest. But no one liked watching Gunfire Reborn either, and when I say no one, I don't mean literally no one. I like Gunfire Reborn, but nobody wanted me to keep playing it. Same with Teardown.
Today I was thinking about like all the competitive games I used to play and like which one would be the most likely to go back to. But then I remembered we did kind of play Apex on and off. And I didn't really do anything either. I opened that with the jump up. Am I asking for the Sunday poll? No. For tomorrow's stream. Because Friday is kind of easy because we always play Batman second on a Friday. For my sins. But Thursdays, never sure. Sometimes Thursdays are okay, sometimes they're quiet. It's kind of getting to that midpoint of the week and we're still in the summer slump as well. For new stuff. Ooh. I wish I'd taken the bonus heart now. Rather than the heal, that was kind of silly. Oh well. Okay, if you double jump off of the bounce though, then you can use your wings. I'm killing Floor 2, no one wanted to watch either. Plus, uh, it's a massive download. And yeah, you have long since uninstalled it. I guess that's the thing, there isn't like one singular thing everyone here wants to see and that's part of the problem. Back in the Overwatch day everyone wanted Overwatch and if I was playing something that wasn't Overwatch they were asking where's Overwatch? They didn't want Isaac back then, they hated Isaac and Gungeon. Yeah, where's Magnamaro? Mallow. Where's Marshmallow? And Poochie? And unions. It's the cardinal sin of being a Twitch streamer complaining to their viewers about not having more viewers and I hate when I do it. But when it plays on my mind I have nothing else to talk about. Another place where RE2 or RE3, are you talking about the originals? Oh, oh that didn't trigger them. Interesting. You have to be close to the ground. That was, I like, the Resident Evil 1 remake came back to mind today for whatever reason. Although I just recently made that Patreon playthrough visible to everyone and spam their inbox by accident. Remake or the original you would take either. Oh. Angie is in fast mode. That was very close. You're too slow. We definitely would have played Revelations 2 if the like we would have played a co-op with Val Valar, but the second player does nothing. They, they don't get to fight. I don't think Resident Evil 1 Revelations or the first Resident Evil Revelations just to avoid confusion. I think it only had a co-op mode, it didn't have a co-op playthrough. I never finished Revelations 2. I played some of it just in my own time back when it came out. 
and I didn't really like the episodic content. And the clear sections were bad. Because you had like four bullets, so you, you couldn't fight. I don't have any means by which to play Code Veronica, I don't think. I have my original Dreamcast copy, but I don't have a working Dreamcast. You off now, honey. Marr, what to see you? Hello, yeah, I'm almost done. Hello. Four legs on the ground, please. Okay. Then you go. Sarah can't play fetch. She doesn't understand the concept of it. I throw a toy for her and she might bring it back to me, she might bring a completely different one or she might just leave it just out of range to mess with me. Like she understands the fundamentals but not how they're supposed to go in the correct order. I do sometimes suspect she's doing it on purpose, yes. She hears another top by the side of his tired of bark. Don't pretend you're brave. Bark, bark, bark. Oh, she just dropped something by me, I heard it. Why didn't the double jump work? No. Angie! What toy did you drop for me? No, oh, you dropped a ball. There. I was able to throw exactly once. I have not had my third red win yet, no. I think I've only had two. It'd probably help if I stopped using the standard whip, but, you know. No. Angie always. Forever Angie. She almost brought it back, but I turned around to look at her, and that won't do. So she turned right around and walked away. She'll have to. She waits until I'm not paying attention to drop it, so she can get into position before I see that it's there. Nuts to that room. Those are meant to be. <laughs> Whoa! Be patient, almost done. Hey, 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 hey! She's patting me on the back with two paws. Oh, 
also you need to wait <laughs> she doesn't like walkies she's bothering me for attention but she'll get she didn't even bring the ball back after that one time I saw her approaching I still hear another dog barking. I was like, hang on, why is the Angie music getting Angie? He is here. Bitch. Did I just call the shrine a bitch? Maybe. Oh, she did drop a toy off, but it's too heavy to risk throwing from this angle. It's a bouncy thing you're supposed to fill with treats. Sounds like she got it though. No, she's throwing a different toy around. Hey Sarah, would you like some butter? Or butter? Yeah, she still doesn't like when I say it that way. This room is very annoying. Hold the little sink. Oof. Fidget spinner. If I grab the fidget cube, she'd go nuts. If I, actually, I won't even grab it, I'll click it once. I clicked it once. She's banging a toy around. It's a form of protest. If I spun the fidget spinner, she'd go even more nuts. She's a Mancurian candidate that gets triggered by sound. The only reason I'm doing this is potentially open on more shortcuts. Because I'm definitely opening up this one. Only because Angie is so close. Oh, okay, she dropped off a snake. I can throw that for her because it's not got anything left in it. Yep, she literally just gave it. She had two and I threw one out, but she still has one. I see that's what she's banging around right now. I'll click the fidget spinner one more time. Oh, nope, she preempted me. There, I clicked it once. <laughs> oh, hey, we actually made it to the temple. I wasn't paying attention. potential win on the one where we didn't have a prediction. Although I, I don't think it's going to be, but... Especially if it doesn't register my double jump. It's the first time I've been damaged in a while. In 10 more and I think I can buy an upgrade on a potential heal. room but it's a layout that I can't work with. Oh no wait, no I can't.
how fast he is. Also, the room isn't over. I thought that would be the switch. Angie in shadow. Inception noise. upper right. Mm, a little bit laggy. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know why it didn't reset me, but I'll take it. Oh, Lucky kicked in, that's why. I have no idea how to dodge this room. Holy shit, I did it. No time to stop though, Angie on the ass. Lucky saved me there, ironically. Because it would have reset me if it triggered damage. <clears throat> I think. I'm pretty sure the ball crushing you resets you. in reverse it's not so bad go go oh no yep. okay that wasn't so bad one more Skipping a half. chamber up ahead I don't think. Or is it? No. It's another shortcut door though. Excellent. In your face the worst room. Nice. We did it. Yes I spent my way through two chambers but so what? Seven Nation Army. The one time there wasn't a bloody prediction. I'm as angry as that guardian that's chasing me. Money wins just like in real life. I'm not looking for bonus chests, I'm just taking my win. What is that, a sword? A cactus? 
Oh, it's a sword. Cool. I mean, in a way, getting a, a red win with just the bog standard whip is maybe more impressive than taking stats. It's a sword. It goes swa. Oh yeah, I got panda, sword, and box. I want to go see if it's unlocked a whip of any kind. Although I probably don't have enough rare and epic keys. No. Still got some to unlock on, and thank you for unlocking that one again. At least we got another red win. Not too bad. <laughs> 